Hello everyone, welcome back to another Royal High video and today I'm actually going to be making 50 different outfit hacks um, for you to try out and to obviously show off. Um, I have to mention of course I'm a gamer girl is the person who originated outfit hacks so make sure as always to go check out her channel I will link it in the description for you so you can go check it out if you haven't already. I also want to mention I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some Robux codes so make sure to stick around to the end of the video if you are interested in that. So without further ado let's get started. First off we have the kitty paws and the Miss Lady Rose gloves and it makes it look like we have like longer paws I guess or um, longer gloves is the right word to use there. Next we have the shy scarf and the frilly collar. It adds a nice little uh, frill detail trim to the shy scarf so I think that's really cute and you can do that two-toned or just one full colour. Next up we have the kingdom earrings and the supernatural earrings and it just adds a little um, detail to it and you can also do this with the stud earrings. Next up I have the bat top hat and the ruffle top hat and it adds a nice little trim to the bat top hat. I think it's a nice combination of both of them. Next up is the lace up boots and the rose garters and it looks like the garters are supporting the top of the boots and I think it's a really cool effect. This also works for the socks from the St. Patrick's Day update. Next up I have this suggestion by Spooky Eliza Revenge or Beeberry1241 and it is the Sunday best hat and the cute kitty ear so let's take a look in game. So this is what it looks like together in game and it's really nice and subtle, it's actually really cute. We got a suggestion from Monica from the community tab on my YouTube and it's the ghost bunny and we have to use the bunny ears with the ghost costume so let's take a look. So here it is and this is really adorable. It's just like a cute little bunny ghost. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so if we select a swimwear, pierced to wear, any will do, but it needs to match one of these body towels. And you click on any to sort of match the colour. So a dark purple, pink colour will do, but you can use any to match it up here. And it acts like a cute little uh, dress that you can wear, but it, you can only really wear this on the new campus because this is the only place these towels are. And actually, they may be on Earth if you have if you fly up to the top of the uh, Rapunzel Tower. So for the next hack, we're going to want to pick the hairdryer up and go into this uh, shower room here and let this happen there we go so we lost our legs and our arms so what we can do is remove the hair change the face do something like this we change the skin color to black we scroll down to the ghost costume and there we go we're the ghost without any limbs and we don't have to worry about our legs getting in the way of the costume and of course you can only really do this on new campus i don't think you can do this on earth i i don't know if there are hair dryers in the tower or anything but yeah this is super cool you can fly around and pull pranks on your friends it's <laughs> super super funny all right so next up we have the um, dolly corset and we also have the shadow empress corset and together it just adds the little sleeves on there I'd advise doing them both the same color so you don't get any like glitchy bits coming through but yeah this is super cool you can add your sleeves to the empress corset here next up we have the body chain and also the leprechaun belt and it adds like a just a nice little bit of detail to any outfit you want to make so the next outfit hat is the witch hat, the new witch hat, and the spring circlet. And it, if you colour it all the same colour, you get this really cool effect where you kind of hide the spikes and it kind of just looks like a cute little flower crown that's added to the end of the witch hat. And I think it's really cute. So the next one is the pumpkin wand and the candle and it just kind of adds a little extra detail to it. Also, you get the flame effect from it. So it really looks like there is a candle inside of the jack-o'-lantern. All right, so next up, I have a update to the mini Mouse outfit that I made quite a while back now and I did this in a previous hacks video but I updated it because there is a new sort of polka dot pattern that will go well with the Miss Lady Rose corset with the poofy sleeves and the dolly skirt. I've also got the rainbow ears like before textured black with the uh, dolly bow 
with the red bow on it and the black background. Got the new kitty paw gloves that look like the sort of old gloves that they used to use in old animation. And of course the yellow heels. So the Dear Dolly ruffled skirt, the Dear Dolly ribbon heels, the Miss Lady Rose bodice. Uh, you don't need the human ears of course. The long elegant gloves for the uh, arms, the playful kitty paws, your rainbow ears and the Dittolly Tea Party Bow. Now you can do the previous hack where you can sort of make the top part of the legs the colour that you need so in this case it's sort of the black colour there. And the texture that I used is this red and white polka dot pattern here. Space Oof on Twitter suggested that I use the Sparkling Crow Crown and the Ice Cream Crown to make this really cool looking crown combination here. So let's try it out. So this is the crown in game and I really love the silver on this. I think it looks really cool with the lights in it too. Looks so awesome. Flower Shy on Twitter also suggested that we use the Antelique Horn and the Shadow Empress Chained Crown to make this really cool looking crown here. So let's try that out. Okay, so here is the final effect of it and I changed the dual colour to a white so you can see it a lot clearer. I think this looks so awesome. I really love this. Okay, so the next one is the fur collar and the glorious cape. Let me change my hair so you can see that a bit better. So change it to that one. And yeah, I think this looks really cool. I like the effect of this one too, a lot. So I was looking through the Royal High Hacks tag and I found this one by Lippy Lol X. And it's these seashell earrings with the cherry on top and it makes them look like oranges. And I really, really wanna try this out. So let's go into the game and see. Okay, so these are the orange earrings and I absolutely love these. You guys know that any sort of fruit related uh, accessory hacks I just love them <laughs> so these are really really cool on the same tag I also found these really cute kitty paws with like the fuzzy bracelets on there by kawaii unicorn lemon so let's check these ones out so these are the paws with the fuzzy bracelets and I think these are really cute I think if you added the gloves to these as well that that would be like really really adorable so adding the miss lady rose gloves to these it just makes them look so adorable if we change out the pose there and we do this one like look how cute those are those are so adorable also on twitter i found these amazing orange sleeves by breeze gaming and they're just colored in a way to make them look like oranges really simple but really cool i want to try them so these are the sleeves in game and they look so good fruit themed outfit hacks are the best you could do these for like apples and like any other berries as well it would be so cool i also saw these really cool apple earrings suggested on twitter by angelica185100 and it's the sweet cherry earrings with the kingdom earrings to make apple earrings so let's try this out so these are the apple earrings and i actually like how the cherry on the bottom makes them sort of like the apple shape or like a school shape and it's not like a perfect circle like they're really really awesome like these are such a cool idea we can use the kitty ears and the top hat from st patrick's day update any hair you'd like to really with this and i think that looks so cute i really love the look of this one can use them with the baseball cap too i think this looks just as cool you can also use the kitty ears with the skater beanie these look really really cute you can also use them with the hood disguise and if you never owned the previous Halloween uh, kitty ears, you can add them to the headphones and make the new version. And these are really cute. I love these. If you use the kitty ears with the spring cleaning headband, it kind of looks like some sort of slime monster is attacking your head or just sitting on there. Because you can have the floofy bits in the middle of the ears look like eyes and then the edge of them looks like the outside of the eye and then like that headband thing is the body of it so I think that's just a weird one to add into the mix. Another variation of that hack you can use the Leah Ash bear ears in black and the seashell clips in white and that also looks like eyes so that's another way you can do this hack. Someone suggested these really cool mosquito earrings on 
the Twitter thread I posted and they were made by Kpop Fan or Kpop Fan 0596517 and they're really cool. So let's try these in game. We're gonna need the cherry earrings, the punk mermaid earrings and the stud earrings. So let's try. So here we are. These are the mosquito wings if my character would like to stop moving. There we go. So these are the punk mermaid earrings in black, the cherry earrings colored with a black texture and the stud earrings in white. And I think these look so cool. The design for this is so clever. I really love them. Also on Twitter, I had a suggestion by Pat de Despair Guy, who was inspired by Pepe Duster and Squishy Jellyfish with this crown. Now this looks incredible, like there are so many different details on this. So let's try and replicate this. This is the texture we need and these are all our accessories, so let's try. So this is what it looks like in game and this looks incredible, like this is a huge hat. Um, and I think this looks so amazing. You can add the spring flowers to the back if you want to, but it doesn't really affect the front of the design too much. But like even just removing like one of these accessories at a time, like removing that, like look how incredible that looks as well. Like, and then removing the um, Shadow Empress crown, like that also looks incredible as a hat. Like all of these are so cool. I also found this design by Maya Cookie on Twitter and it's this floopy looking witch hat. So let's try this out. So this is what it looks like in game and it's actually pretty cool. It does glitch a little bit. I think you can tell from the back here that it's two hats and kind of if you come up close to it. But if you're just looking head on, it looks really cool. And it's kind of like it's got a little tear in it or it's sort of ripped up a little bit and I kind of like that vibe. So I saw a lot of these Tudor costumes like suggested on Twitter and I cannot find a single one of them anymore and I don't understand why um, because this is where I got my inspiration from from this and I want to know where the original post and who made it. So if you know the original poster of these sort of Tudor looks, please let me know um, because I cannot find them anywhere on Twitter and I don't understand why. I was inspired by like a picture of Queen Elizabeth for this picture and I think this looks really cool. So the ruffle collar here and the corset, the poofy sleeves, I have a, a, a design on for the uh, arm sleeves as well and like so I have the Miss Lady Rose skirt on, the ruffle collar, the Shadow Empress jeweled crown, the Shadow Empress chain bodice, the princess poofy sleeves, the updo four and this outfit right here and yeah I did my skin like the palest white so it's sort of like this one or you can use this one and yeah I think this looks really cool and I think this looks sort of pretty accurate as well to um, Tudor looks. I found this one on my Twitter thread by Falte Nova and it's this really cool um, crown combo so let's try this out in game. So this is what it looks like and I think this is really cool. I love like the added little rose detail and then the proportion in the middle as well with the ice queen crown. I think it looks really cute. There's also another suggestion by SSPXCED3 and it's this baseball cap with the pumpkin bumpers. So let's try this out. So this is what they look like and I think it's really cute actually. I kind of like how they're sort of got the black detail on them. Um, with the ribbons and like the face and stuff and I think they're kind of really cute so yeah this is this hack. You can also do this with the spiderweb boppers too and it looks just as cool. I also spotted this accessory hack on Twitter by Spoopy Bon Bon or Lil Bunny Bon Bon and it's this bat that's holding up the kingdom earrings but it kind of reminds me of like a crystal ball being held up by like bat wings, like kind of like the wing designs I made a while back. So this is what they look like in game and they're kind of really cool. I like these a lot and I like how it looks like they're like a crystal ball being held up by these bats. You could add like the stud earrings to these and make it like an eyeball, I guess. As well, we also have the glorious cape and the shy scarf and it kind of looks like sort of a ninja kind of outfit, I guess. So this is also really cool. I like this one a lot. I can't remember if someone suggested me to do this or not, but it's the ruffle collar and the glorious cape. Now, if you did suggest this to me on my Twitter or community tab, let me know, because I do apologize. See, so yeah, this one's really cute. I really like this one a lot and it makes it look like the front of the cape joins up. Another user on Twitter, called Alex or Olivia 06611860 suggested I make these uh, mind wing visor accessory. This looks really cool so I'm going to go check this out. So here is the visor and mind wings and this looks really cool. It looks sporty but it also kind of looks uh, magical at the same time. So yeah these are the Anzu mind wings and the 
tennis visor. Another hack is these demon horns and the rose, uh, I think it's called the Lizzie Rose Crown or something like that. I'll get the name for you in a second. But this is sort of like a cute little uh, headband sort of close to the forehead. So this one's really cute. Sort of very like, um, you know, spooky as well as cute. So they are called the Lizzie's Crown of Roses and the Kawaii Demon Horns. We can use the jack-o'-lantern staff or the pumpkin staff or wand or whatever it's called with the sword and it kind of makes it look like Rose Quartz's sword in my opinion and I think this looks really cool if we have like, you know, her really curly hair in pink, you know, it's very possible. <laughs> so the accessories you'll need are the Royal Sword of Strength and the Glowing Pumpkin Wand. The Shadow Empress sleeves, the Lolita sleeves and also the um, floaties, the donut floaties and we get this really cool sort of sleeve effect here and if you use the whole Shadow Empress set it looks pretty cool. Now I also think this looks really really cool with the ruffle sleeves as well and it's sort of like, I'm not sure what effect this is but it's weird and I kind of like it so this is another outfit hack for you. You can use the Lizzie Crown of Roses with the new school um, crown I guess. <laughs> and it just make, adds a little extra detail around the outside of it. I once saw this hack on the wiki somewhere, but for the life of me, I cannot find that post anymore. But it is these action booties with the peg leg and it adds a little uh, sort of edge to the top of the uh, left boot, which is pretty cool. So it kind of looks like a rolled over sock. If you use the jeweled tiara and the empress crown, you get this really cool effect though. It looks like um, it's sort of a big headdress instead of, you know, one, you know, two separate crowns. So this is really cool. I like this one. We have three suggested here by Not Kawaii Patat One. We already did this top hat, but um, we do have these really cool designs. So it's this is the witch's hat with the bow, which looks really cool on there. That would look cool with the vampire crown too, and the uh, flip hat with the bow on the back. So let's take a look at these. So it turns out it was actually the hood disguised, but it's equally as cool. Like got a little bow on the back of it. That's really really cute. Okay, so this is the final outfit hack I believe, and this is the witch's hat, and also the bow. This is the ribbon bow from the wheel wave too and that's really cute like i said before with the vampire crown in the center like how awesome does that look that looks so cool like the detail so yeah all of those together are really cool okay so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it took me a while to record this and i actually lost all of my footage i was filming for like four or five hours lost it all because my recording software is terrible um but i re-recorded it and um so yeah we're all sorted now but as i said at the start of the video i did mention i was going to be doing a giveaway cybernova was kind enough to give me a robux code to give to you guys so that's what i'm going to be doing here for a celebration for 17,000 subscribers which i do have to say thank you so much for subscribing and watching the channel it really does mean a lot and i really do appreciate every single one of you that watches the channel and subscribes to enter this giveaway all you have to do is like this video subscribe to the channel and comment down below anything you want and I will pick someone at random to win the giveaway and I will be giving away a robux code which is worth 1000 robux so yes make sure you enter into this to get a chance to win some robux you know for those sweet sweet diamonds or anything you want really yeah i'm gonna end off the video here and say thank you all so much for watching make sure you subscribe of course and make sure that you follow me on twitter at bamit where i do tend to ask a lot of questions or help with videos and things like that over there um as well as some like fun stuff so if you want to follow me it's at bamit on twitter so yeah i'm gonna to actually sign it off here and say thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye